Celtics. Despite a 29-point, 10-assist effort by Kyrie Irving, the Celtics lost their second straight game in a home loss to the lowly Suns. Stephen A., you worried about Boston? I'm worried. And the reason why I'm worried is because even though losses like this happen during the regular season, the fact is there's been too many of these 12 losses that we've looked at scratching our head about these Boston Celtics this year. We we sort of wait, laid off them when they won six straight because Marcus Smart was inserted into the starting lineup. Gordon Haywood was relegated to the bench, even though he's still averaging over 26 minutes a game. And so you look at them, you see Jason Tatum shooting the ball better. He's at about 46% from the field. Uh, you look at the Jalen Brown. He's got to do better from three-point range. He's only at 27 percent Al Horford's been out of the lineup that's problematic but I don't give a damn who wasn't on the floor for you you got no business losing to the Phoenix Suns DeAndre Ayton had 23 and 18 Booker's no joke and we get all of that all right I think he's that's the team he dropped 70 on for crying out loud but I'm just looking at the Boston Celtics right now and there is a level of urgency that they need to be alerted about that they need to have because the Toronto Raptors aren't going anywhere and Boston needs to show that this is their conference, not Toronto's, before Toronto officially just takes it from them, if they haven't Look, already. The, the, the problem with Boston this year has been Hayward and Brown and Rozier, too, to tell you the truth. Um, real nice guy, Rozier, and he wants to be a great player, but he's been struggling. And Marcus Smart and, uh, and, uh, Marcus, and Morris, th th these are really good players who had a really good effect on the team once they were inserted in the starting lineup and once the minutes went up. And they've been playing very well. Kyrie is not on the surface a problem. And Kyrie can also shoot it and finish it in the paint. You know, he finishes in the paint underneath the rim probably better than anyone who ever lived. And he's a really good shooter from the outside. He also has that Kobe thing where you just believe in the end he'll figure out a way to win, and he wants to be the leader of the team to take them there. And yet, Stephen A., they might be better off without him. You know, if they have a chance, obviously, to move him in a package for AD or something like that, or do you want to play a guy with a knee who plays like Kyrie with a, with a problem with his knee going forward, a supermax contract, which he's going to want? I mean, the fact of the matter is they shared the ball much better when he went down last year. There's an, I'm just saying, he, he's not the problem, and he's willed them to win throughout, you know, in recent weeks. I've seen that in several games. But I'm not convinced that they're not better off without for the best, Obviously for the, getting something for him, but better for off For the without purposes him. of this season, I ain't thinking about nothing like that. I love me some mm -hmm. Kyrie Irving. This brother is special. He reminds me of Isaiah Thomas every day. I watch him more mm -hmm. and more. He's just so special. Mm -hmm. He's so special. Yeah, I still believe they'll both be there at the end, but we shall see.